वेलकम एवरीबॉडी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द ब्रांच एंड बाउंड अल्गोरिथम फॉर एन जॉब एन मशीन फ्लो शॉप प्रॉब्लम्स विद सम न्यूमेरिकल इलस्ट्रेशन हियर लेट अस कंसीडर अ स्मॉल न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री मशीन्स एंड फोर जॉब्स एंड देन द प्रोसेसिंग टाइम्स आर गिवन फॉर ईच जॉब विद ईच मशीन नाउ दिस प्रॉब्लम branch and bound algorithm is uh, carried out in stage by stage in the first stage we are deciding which job has to be processed in each first that if we first uh, we will consider the first job when it is processed first what will happen then we will decide second job then third and fourth finally we will come to conclusion that which job will be process to minimize the total max span time now here this is the first stage let us consider the job 1 is process at first so here there is a partial sequence this partial sequence is having one then the other sequence will be having 2 3 4 because there are four jobs when you just decided the first job has to be carried out first then second third fourth will be remaining similarly when you decide the second job to be carried out first then first one three four jobs will be remaining similarly when you third job if you try to think of processing at first then one two four will be remaining now this q1 q2 q3 is the completion time of these jobs when this one is processed when the first job is processed it has got the processing time of 3 4 and 10 assume it is started at zero time at three hours it will be coming out from the machine one then it enter into the machine m2 there it gets in process for four hours so 3 plus 4 7 hours at seven hours it will be coming out from the machine m2 then it enters into the machine m3 then there it's getting process for 10 hours 17 hours will be coming out from the machine three so 3 7 17 is the completion time of this partial sequence that means when the first job is processed first what are the completion time at machine 1 machine 2 and machine 3 similarly we have found out the completion time for all the jobs p2 that means 0 plus 11 then 11 plus 1 1 plus uh, that is 12 12 plus 5 17 and so on now we are going to evaluate these three constants b1 b2 b3 at this first stage in this first stage first term will be your q1 q2 q3 b1 will be having q1 term b2 will be having q2 term b3 will be having q3 term now the partial sequence assumptions in the sense when you just try to process this one the minimum lower bound will be the sum of all this processing time this time plus sum of all this processing time plus minimum of this that means you leave this job is to be processed first then this will be having another machine two and machine three processing time you just sum up this then the minimum of this has to be the constant b1 that means 3 plus sum of these values plus minimum of these three values that means that is given as q1 into p1j sum plus minimum of these two values then b2 will be q2 plus that means we are coming to this one this second stage that we are processing at the machine 2 then the remaining processing time we have to sum up plus minimum of this this value 3 13 and 2 then when you just come to the b3 this completion time q3 plus sum of this processing time that is given as an equation 1 now in this case the upper bound will be maximum of b1 b2 or b3 that means the maximum value you will choose and then we can just write it here now let us try to apply this formula for the first stage by finding b1 b2 b3 and maximum of this value as b now p1 that means we are thinking the processing of first job first q1 value is 3 plus This sum eleven plus seven plus ten plus minimum of one plus five nine plus thirteen twelve plus two. So in this one the minimum is fourteen. 
14 plus this sum is comes to sorry this 6 22 and 14 so the minimum will be 6 plus this sum plus this will be your 37 similarly when you come to b2 that is the 7 plus here we are coming to the 7 plus sum of this value 1 plus 9 plus 12 plus minimum of these three values that means 2 13 and 5 so here it is 2 so the sum comes to 31 then when you are coming to b3 value that is 17 plus the sum of these three values so this comes to 37 31 and 37 among these three values the maximum value is 37 that is when you process your P1, that is your lower bound. Now, we are considering the P2. P2 means first, second job we are thinking of processing first. That means this will be having Q1, Q2, P3 value is this. Then the B1 value will be Q1, 11 plus other value is this, this, this. That means 3, 7 and 10. The sum of this. Then minimum of 10 plus 4, 9 plus 13, 12 plus 2. So, when it comes to this, the total sum comes to 45. Now, next one, Q2 value, 12, plus 4, 9, 12, just we have to sum up this, plus minimum of 10, 13 and 2. That means the minimum will be 2 here, when it sum, it is, comes to 37, 39. Then, when it comes here, that is 17, that is the Q3 value plus 10, 13 and 2. When it comes, it is 42. Similarly, when you are crossing 7, you leave the 7, other sum you can just make and then find the minimum of these 3 values. Then, when you come here, this one, Q2 plus this 4, 1 and 12. Then, when you just come here, Q3 plus 10, 5 and 2. So that we can find out this. Among these the maximum value you can just select. Similarly, at 4 stages we can compute your B1, B2, B3 value and then the maximum B value. So from this first stage, we can conclude that the first job is better to be processed initially. So in the next stage, we will decide the first job. Then which job has to follow the first one? There are three possibilities. After one, we can feed with two or three or four. That means one, two, one, three or one, four. Among these three sequences, which one will be better? Now, this is the second stage of this problem. In the second stage, one, two is the partial sequence. That means after one, we have decided to process two. Then the remaining jobs will be 3 and 4. Similarly, when you process after one third job, the remaining jobs will be 2 and 4. When you process after one fourth job, the remaining jobs will be 2 and 3. For this, the completion time, that has to, that has to be calculated like this. Suppose here, when you consider M1, M2, M3 and in time and out time, when you process the first job, 0, and then 3 hours will be coming out, it will enter into the machine 2 or 3 and there it is getting processed for 7 hours then it will enter into the machine M3 at 7 hours there it is getting processed for 10 hours at 17 now after that when you feed the second job then at the second job will enter at 3 hours there it is getting processed for 11 hours so 14 hours will be coming out at 14 hours only it can enter into the machine M2 there it is getting processed for 15, 1 hour that is total 15 hours then it enters into the machine M3 only 17 hours because at 17 hours only the machine M3 is free. Then from 17, there it is getting processed for 5 hours, it is 22. Similarly, after 1, when you feed the third job, what is the completion time? So these are all the completion times for 1 3 sequence, and this is the completion time for 1 3 sequence, that is 1 2 sequence and this 1 3 sequence. And for 1 4 sequence, these are all the completion time. These completion times are just taken and then tabulated here. Now, we will calculate the B1, B2 and B3 value as well as the capital B value for partial sequence of 1, 2, 1, 3 as well as 1, 4. For 1, 2, let us consider this 1, 2 is processed initially, then the remaining jobs will be 3 and 4. 
That means after this, that is the Q1 value 14 plus sum of these two values plus when you just make this sum, the minimum of these two, that means 19 plus uh, 9, 9 plus 13, 12 plus 2, the minimum will be 14, so that comes to 45. Then when you want to find B2, that is 15, 15 plus, that means 1 and 2, you just leave it. Here, this 9 and 12, we have to add, and then minimum of these two values, 2, that is this. Then when you just come to the B3 value, there it is Q3 is 22, 22 plus the sum of these two values. So that is 37. So that comes to, that means 45, 38 and 37. Maximum of this value is 45. Similarly, your P13 as well as P14 can be computed. So that maximum value in corresponding to P13 is 39 and P14 is 45. So in this one, P12 has got the lower bound of 45 and P13 has got the lower bound of 39 and P14 has got the lower bound of 45 so 13 is best so next we have decided to process the job 3 after 1 so 13 the next stage will be there are two steps after 13 whether we can process the second job or fourth job. With that stage, we will completely conclude this problem. So, the next stage, we are going to evaluate two uh, values, that means two partial sequences, 1, 3, 2 and 1, 3, 4. That we will see in the next slide. Now, we can go to the third stage. In the third stage, we have decided to process the second job after 1 and 2 as well as fourth job after 1 and 3. So here, if you take the positions 1, 3, 2, the remaining job will be 4. If you take 1, 3, 4, the remaining job will be 2. So the completion time can be computed like this. 1, 3, 2 in the last previous, way, previous slide, what we have seen, the same way, the completion time of the 1, 3, 2 positive sequence in machine M1 is 21, M2 is 22 and then M3 is 37. Similarly for 1, 3, 4 is also just given 20, 32 and 34. Now if you want to find B1, B2, B3, you consider 1, 3, 2 sequence that means 1, 3, 2 sequence the remaining job will be only 4. For this is 21 plus this job that is 10 plus sum of this is equal to 45 then for B2 that means we are coming to this position then all these jobs have been cho chosen now B2 plus this value 12 plus the minimum of this value is 2 that comes to 36 then for B3 when you come here it is 37 plus this 2 value that is equal to 39 among these the maximum value is 45 Similarly, when you consider 1, 3, 4, that means 1, 3, 4, the remaining job will be 2. That means your 20 Q1 plus this job value is 11. Only 2 is left over, it's 11 plus 1 plus 5. This comes to 37. Then when you come to this position, now all these jobs have been chosen. Only 1 is the 32. 32 plus 1 plus is 5. That comes to 38. And then when you just come here, this 34 Q3 value plus this 5 value. All these jobs are chosen already. So it is 39. So among these the maximum value is 39. So here for this partial sequence 1, 3, 2 is 45 and 1, 3, 4 is 39. So this one is a better sequence. That means 1, 3, 4 is a sequence. 1, 3 and 4. Only remaining job is 2 so that has to be processed at 2. So when you just process this sequence 1, 3, 4 and then find out this uh, scheduling time then that comes to maximum time will be equal to 39 only. So 1, 3, 4, t, 4 2 sequence is the best sequence suggested by this branch and bound algorithm. This is the constructive algorithm. Of course the process is tedious. This will give exactly the good results. Of course this cannot be applied for a very large number of problems. For smaller problems, this can be used.
or if we can program this system, uh, program this uh, logic in a computer, we can solve little more some complicated problems. Thank you.